Well, I've got my colored pencils all laid out here. I'm dying to give them a try, so I found a picture that I want to draw and see how it works. Also, I bought a case for these pencils because uh, what they're in is a very flimsy plastic. And uh, I saw a case online that uh, will uh, pretty much put them all in there and zip up real nice. So I've ordered that. So anyway, let's get started and see how we do with colored pencils. I've never really used these uh, colored pencils before. I've had colored pencils, but never really got into them. So, I really can't do a tutorial on colored pencils since I've really never used them. But what we can do is learn it together. We'll just, I'll just start using them. You watch what I'm doing. Maybe you can try it. Maybe you can get a set of pencils and give it a shot. Let's learn it together. So I thought maybe I would start out with this bird. Now let's take a look at the first thing I've discovered. When you get your colored pencils they're going to have a point like that on them. And what I found is you need a point like this. You cannot do much with the point that comes on the pencil right out of the package. Now this is a good handheld pencil sharpener. Uh, good for lead pencils, basically. Uh, works very well with the lead pencil. Uh, and it's something you can take with you and things like that. But, for these colored pencils, I've found that uh, you need to go with an electric sharpener. They do the, This uh, electric sharpener does the best job for these pencils. Now this Panasonic is, I don't know how old, I got it from when I was working. I think they were going to throw it away and I took it home. And uh, it works great. Uh, I suppose you could get a modern one and it would be a little better. But right now this is working great. So here I started on the eye. In the light area of the eye, the reflection there, it's actually a light blue pencil over uh, the black and the yellow there of the eye. Anyway, it's a start. Well, let's see where we're at with this bird. Kind of getting there. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to match the colors the best I can and just putting down uh, pencil strokes to represent feathers and uh, he's got a little fur and things like that. Now these are the three pencils I'm using for these top kind of golden looking feathers. Um, I'm kind of kind of isolate these three pencils so I can, won't get them mixed up with the other pencils so I know what to go back to. Um, hoping this is the right color. It's very hard to match I think. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, now I'm going to start on the lower feathers here. And these are the pencils I'm going to try and use to get these feathers. <coughs> because they're not hairs, these are actually feathers. So I've got to uh, find a way to uh, convey that. See if we can do it. <coughs> well, this was an in interesting experiment. Um, not thrilled with it. I don't think it's too bad, but it's a learning experience. Well, if you gave this a try, we'll see how we do next time. See you then. Don't forget to comment and subscribe so we can draw together.